23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following on this Thursday. Fire officials will get their first good look at the French fire this morning. It erupted west of Lake Isabella late Wednesday. It's grown very quickly. More than 2,000 acres, 0% containment. As of right now, we don't know the cause. Now, this moved quickly, as I said, engulfing cars and utility poles, some structure damage, and evacuation orders in effect for the sawmill community. The American Red Cross has an evacuation center set up once again at the Lake Isabella Senior Center, providing food, water, and shelter. They also have a nursing staff on site, and there's an area for pets. The American Red Cross also says if you need to evacuate, try to grab those cell phones and important documents, but they say don't waste time leaving your home. The evacuation center is located on Lake Isabella Boulevard. Meantime, the French fire, one of many burning across the state, the Dixie Fire, as we've been telling you, the, current, the largest fire in the country. Right now, more than 662,000 acres with 35% containment. Now, originally the state estimated containment by August 30th, that's been pushed back an entire month. All right, let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk and get a check of that forecast. Yes, we are sunny and stable for another day as far as the pattern goes, but that northerly flow is pushing down a lot of smoke from fires to the north and then pushing smoke from the French fire into the Kern River Valley area. So with that Dixie fire smoke filling into the valley, it's the French fire smoke that's filling into Isabella and pushing down toward Ridgecrest. As you can see, we're also watching the Walker's fire to our north. With that said, the air quality forecast is in the moderate range today and the valley air quality says that that air quality kind of comes and goes all day as this pattern shifts throughout the next several hours, but you'll see that it builds us up to the 80s for those kiddos going off to school. That's a pretty nice day here in August, though it is smoky, so you want to keep them inside if they have sensitive lungs. As we take a look at the rest of the county, 90 in Bakersfield this afternoon, about 4 p.m., the same for Taft. 89 in Isabella with the fire conditions continuing, 90s in the desert. And that's a look at some of the stories we're following right now for breaking news, weather and traffic anytime, anywhere, along with updates on those wildfires. You can download our free mobile and tablet apps. Have a great day.